Hi friends. In this video we will see what are the points to be considered while buying a new computer. Personal computers are absolutely essential helping us to communicate with family. Keep up on events. Do our shopping, pay our bills. Be creative and manage so many other aspects of daily life. But if you are not brought one in 3 or more years, computers have changed quite a bit. Today's machines are generally faster, more power efficient, thinner and in many cases they are cheaper also. One thing that has not changed is the awareness that can still baffle buyers without advanced degrees or a passion for technology. Here's how to get the computer you need without paying anything. Here the points to be considered are first one processor speed. This is the master chip that drives your computer. Current windows based computers typically run 10th or 11th generation intel chips. For the model numbers examples i5 or i7 that we are calling as core i5 and core i7 and also in the AMD segment it will be Ryzen 5 or 6. Then find the two digits immediately after that, that is preferably 10 or 11 in case of Intel processor. In case of AMD processor, it will be Ryzen 50 or 60. Next comes device types. India has gone mobile and so have computers. Laptops are the most popular type of computer today followed by the tablets. Together portable devices account for about 4 fifth of the worldwide market. Those big desktop boxes of old are still available but are usually built for high end users who need ultra high speed capability that is for gaming purpose or maybe video editing purpose. You can also hook up a laptop to a monitor on your desk when you need a larger display. Next comes RAM. This is your computer's short-term memory. Essentially, it's operating workspace. The more the RAM, the more programs or browser tabs you can have open and running smoothly at the same time. And the fewer RAMs will freeze up the monitor. Experts recommend at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, though cloud-based Chromebooks can work well with just 4 GBs. But here, normal computers, at least 8 GB of RAM required nowadays. Data storage. A good starting point for internal storage is a 256 GB for installing operating system. But you could get by with less because of one big area of change in the past few years. Increasingly computer users are storing documents, photos and videos in the cloud which means on secure servers. You subscribe for the same and access online. This is not only reduces your need for a large hard drive inside your computer but also lets you access your file from your mobile devices and other computers. Another benefit, when you buy a new computer, you won't need to transfer a mountain of data. Screen size. A larger screen makes reading and viewing easier for older eyes. Whether you buy a monitor for desktop computer or to hook up a laptop, my recommendation is one that it is 27 or 32 inches monitor is it is essential nowadays. For laptops I think it is 14 or 15 inches which balances readability, portability and space efficiency and cost. Also pay attention to screen resolution specification also. Choose a model for full HD that is 1080p resolution, avoid 720p below today's standards or the new high-end 4K resolution displays which curtail the battery life. Audio and video. Most computers sold today come with high quality video and audio components that is built-in speakers cameras and microphones and wireless Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. 
Sales people may get you to invest in enhanced video cards, but they are primarily for hardcore gamers and which is not essential for day-to-day -day activities. Disk drives, few laptops sold today have a CD or DVD players because the users have mostly gone away, software is downloaded or even cloud based. Most music or videos today are streamed over the internet and files are stored either on your hard drive or in a cloud. But if you require one, plug in external CD bar DVD writers or players are available for less than Rs. 3000. Internet connection, video calls freezing up. The problem may be with your internet service or Wi-Fi connection. Investing in a better router using a signal booster or getting higher speed internet service could enhance your computer performance more than buying a higher grade model. Well, these are the some of the things to be considered while purchasing a new computer especially in the year 2021. That's all friends, if you are facing any problems while shopping for a new PC or laptop, enquire me in the comment box. Subscribe to this channel for getting new updates regularly as and when I upload the videos. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.